This is a video about resolving circular references or using a automated goal seek uh, to solve a problem. And here's the problem. You might have a gross loan facility and you want to draw some on the loan facility. But the gross, the, uh, and then you have uh, things like arrangement fees, interest rates, uh, 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 payments for the, uh, 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 excuse me, the commitment fee on the undrawn balance. Uh, and then what you want to do is to make sure, in this case, we said, okay, let's try to borrow 5,000, 5 million, rather. And then when we borrow 5 million, it adds up over 18 uh, monthly periods. It adds up to five thousand four five million four seventy five instead of the five million. So what you could do is you could make a goal seek and let's say we want to find out what our commitment is, we could just make a goal seek, go to data, what if analysis goal seek and set the difference to uh, zero by changing the we could change the gross facility amount Okay, or alternatively, we might want to leave that at six million. Oops, I made it sixty million. Yeah, we might want to leave that at six million, and then instead change the amount we actually draw. Okay, because maybe the this it comes from some kind of debt to capital ratio, so the amount we draw might be uh, we we might make a uh, data what if analysis go to goal seek and set this time set the difference to zero uh, by changing the amount we draw so we can fund more of our cash expenditures okay so but what this uh, video is going to do is going to show you how to instead of having to run the goal seek each time we're going to make a, a uh, we're going to do it a couple of ways. Uh, first, we'll just make an automated, automated uh, goal seek after that. And let's make one that holds the 6,000 con constant and backs into this. We, I'll show you how you can adjust it very quickly to do it the other way. And then we'll, uh, uh, after that, make a uh, uh, macro where we can just change this amount and this amount automatically uh, automatically comes in as a function, as an equation. So we'll do it two different ways. And I've got to pause and think of it. Uh, now to introduce the issue, uh, we have to replicate precisely the equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to read in this uh, the arrangement fee, the periodic uh, interest rate, periodic fee, and the construction uh, expenditures. We're going to in, uh, uh, we're going to um, input these into a function, and then replicate exactly the equations. And we go. I hope I also included this one. This one, and we'll make a loop that goes from one to eighteen. When the loop is equal to one, we need to use option base one. By the way, when we, the loop is equal to one, we'll have an opening balance of zero. We'll draw down the amount which we don't know yet. That's the big thing. We don't know yet that, and we'll go around and around and keep doing that, and basically uh, uh, keep doing that until this goes to zero. We'll multiply the capital. Uh, uh, the, the arrangement fees only when it's one. The capitalized interest will be the opening balance plus any drawdown plus any arrangement fees. So the interest is after, in this case the interest is computed after the drawdown and the uh, uh, fees. And then the commitment fee, which can be the most painful thing here, the commitment fee is the total, we, uh, the total of the commitment which we input but it's minus the uncommitted balance, and in this case the uncommitted balance is the opening balance 
minus the plus the drawdown plus all of this. Uh, uh, so sixty thousand. Uh, what is it? Hang on. It's it's the uh, six million minus the sum of what we had last period, which was zero minus the sum of what we had this period. So let's go to the next one. So if we go to, this is the only calculation I'm a little worried about. Oh, I see. It's the sum of everything. So it's really the sum of, we, we take the, uh, uh, let's see, the sum of D19. Oh, it's the sum of the prior commitment fee, uh, uh, commitment fees and the sum of all the interest and all the other fees. And we subtract that from the uh, opening balance. I'm going to make some mistakes on that one, but let's, uh, let's go for it. So let's make a new macro first. Okay. Uh, I suppose we'll... Whoops, I have something in here already. Let's go to tools and macros. I don't have anything. Okay, we'll make a brand new macro. And, you know, I uh, have some way too complicated stuff up here. And we're just going to uh, see how, if we can do this in kind of a simple simple uh, way. Okay? And let's call this, let's make a uh, macro called, uh, let me see, resolve uh, debt or something, just so we remember where this stuff is. And the first one, let's, we're going to try to find the draws. Okay, so let's make a function called uh, draw. Draws. And in that function, we better read in the gross amount of the facility. We better read in the arrangement fee. And I'll put percent so we remember to distinguish between the amount and the percent. The interest rate and that will, it looks like that's going to be a single number, and then the uh, a fee, the commitment fee, at percent, and then finally the, the, the uh, periods. Okay, that's all we do. And then we start, I would just start with replicating what we did. Okay, so we'll make f a, a for loop for i equal 1 to the periods. Okay, that could be t or month or something like that. Okay, and we put next i. That's the first thing you have to do, maybe the most complicated thing. And then you're just going to replicate almost, I'm looking at the sheet, and I'm going to replicate what we did. So if uh, i equal 1, then we can do a couple of special calculations. First we can say drawdown equal uh, the, hmm, equal the, test. We'll put that, because we don't know what that is yet. Okay. And then we'll uh, also make the, uh, I'll make it uh, capitalized. I don't have to call it that. Arrangement uh, fee equal arrangement fee percent multiplied by the gross amount. Okay, so we that's okay. And then the, cap, the interest is equal to the uh, our opening balance. Uh, I'll, put, I'll just call this the balance. 
times the interest rate. Now we don't know the interest rate, the opening balance yet. Um, and in the in the oh, it's the opening balance, uh, and then the way we have it modeled here. And again, this rep emphasizes that you just have to replicate what you did. It's plus the drawdown. So the only problem is we don't know what the drawdown is yet. Okay, and then, so our interest is that, and then we have. Oof, um, well, that's the, these all. Uh, excuse me, should have stopped here because this is. This is the this the, these uh, three calculations. These two calculations, rather, they occur only in the first period. The rest of it occurs in all the periods, and then we have the uh, calculation I'm afraid of, and in that that calculation that I'm afraid of, we take the uh, let's put the commitment uh, fee is equal to the we know it's equal to the gross amount minus. And what we do is we subtract out anything we have already uh, uh, spent, and I think that's minus the drawdown, and that only occurs in one period, minus the arrangement fee. That only occurs in one period, but we also subtract the interest, and we include, it looks like, the interest in uh, the current period, and we multiply that by the commitment fee percent. Now I'm switching off the, Mac, the, the, the thing so we can just uh, check. The okay, um, as usual I was wrong. The, the, uh, um, Uh, it's it's really important to uh, get the formulas just right. What I did is I redid the commitment fee, and the commitment fee can be computed as the opening balance, as the total commitment you make, it's less the opening balance, less the drawdown, less all of these things, just before the commitment fee itself. Okay, and I just demonstrated you get exactly the same. Uh, uh, result with a slightly uh, simpler uh, formula. Okay, and so the commitment fee is the total amount we have minus the opening balance. Now the opening balance is is uh, before we start when we start the opening balance. The balance is going to be zero, just like we have in our model here. Okay? And we take away the drawdown, we take away the arrangement fee, and we take away the interest, and we multiply it by the commitment fee itself. Okay? So that's the uh, um, uh, uh, that's that part of it. And now, when we're uh, finished with this, okay, we have to compute the balance of the debt. Okay? And the balance of the debt in this case just goes up by okay, and we this time we add the drawdown plus the uh, uh, arrangement fee. You have to be very careful with the spelling plus the interest plus the commitment fee. Okay, and then we, so now we have all the balance, and now the only thing we haven't really done is we we ha we need to, this, this big thing we put in for the test, we haven't defined what that thing is. Okay, and we can do this two different ways. Let's use kind of a goal-seek method. 
or we're replicating the goal seek, and then after that, we'll, uh, we'll, I don't know, maybe, we'll use a function method. So what we can do is start with, let's put a start equal zero and equal uh, um, the gross amount. And then, oops, and we can't put end, I'll put start finish. That. And it doesn't like that because there's a function. And we'll put increment equals equals the, the how about finish minus the start. Uh, we'll just divide it by ten. Okay. And what we'll do is when we hit the gross amount, it's going to be too high. And then we'll do a for loop for test. That's what we're going to do here. Equals start to finish. And here's the big trick. Put step increment. Okay, and that's one of the big tricks. Now, when we finally when we do this, it's going to go around and around and compute the test, and then we'll put an if at the end. And what we want to do is if the balance is greater, the ba that's the ending balance. If that's greater than the gross amount, then we have to then we have to start over. Okay, if, uh, uh, so when the balance is greater than the uh, gross amount, then we've gone too far. And here's what you do, then you just go backwards, and you say, well, let's start again, but this time let's start with our test minus the increment. Okay, and let's make our finish equal simply the test amount. So we have a much smaller range. And let's do the same thing with the increment equal the uh, finish minus the start divided by our 10, our sin 10. And then here's what we do. We go to, I'll put restart something like that. Uh, you could name this anything you want, but that's where it's in essential to put it here. So then we'll just go around and around, and this time we'll go around and around by a much smaller increment. And then we put, uh, of course, end if here. All right. And we keep going ar around and around and around. Now, uh, we can also uh, put uh, if if the uh, balance if the, how about the absolute value of the balance uh, minus the gross is less than a pretty small number then we can go around something like we can finish this whole process, okay? And, of course, I uh, typed something wrong. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It was a uh, parentheses, N1, and then we put the, uh, uh, finally, we put draws, which is the, and then we're finished, okay? And Okay, I had to take a break, of course. Um, the uh, I had a couple of errors. The balance here, um, it seemed to have not I subtracted the balance, and I didn't add the arrangement fee. Now, what you have, to, what this does, and I didn't put these uh, to be zero when it wasn't in the first period. It just this all it does is force you to make exactly the same calculations, and it's frustrating as heck hell. 
Okay, now um, uh, uh, let's see how it works. So I cheated and tested it out, but if you put equal draws, okay, and then you go to your little FX thing and you put the gross amount in first, and then you put the accumulated uh, the arrangement fee in, and then you put the interest rate. And then you put the commitment fee uh, percent, and then you put the periods. It gives you an answer, and look, that difference is equal to zero. And if you've uh, messed around with this, it's uh, that's just music to you. Yes, now I I think uh, perhaps I went too extreme with the iterations even.